six, seven. Seven comes here. This move normal will not come. Nothing here. This is movement. But now your mind has to compute and create something that does not exist. Can you feel the power here? And now see the power is here. Your mind thinks it went from here to here, or it thinks it went from here to here. All you have to do is to create, let's say, tension here, oh, and tension. And then, before you let go, and the tension is here. Your opponent's mind and your own body actually will start to feel the energy going from here to here. And this one here is, in my videos, you will look for the practicalmethod.com, the video is called a differential. So same for water, if you have a high place, low place, water, Pull, if water has mind, it believes it's pulling it over there, but there was no pull, anything. So you concentrate and contract the muscle to point? Yeah, and do, yeah. To no, point. no, not point. Just do this and then do this. And it's the same as video. Like you see here on the wall lock here, it. like lock it to eye ah, here. So if I'm loose here, like here, can you see nothing works? So I'm not transmitting, therefore I have to use tension. So now I use tension f ahead of time. The tension is only used not to fight you, but to make sure this is a stick, it never moves. Because of that, if I want to fight you here, I start here, very, very far. This is called the indirect power. See, this move, can you see, transmits here. And because of that, it's very easy to, for me to make the rotation. But you are still holding me hard. If I'm loose, this won't transmit. So I do this, you fight back, it becomes very stiff. So if I'm so strong here, the slightest move transmits. Now I'll visually show you. No, no, no just visually show you. If I'm too loose, I do something, nothing happens. So I have to use a lot of muscle to compensate. But this is totally one piece. Mm -hmm. Can you see? This move is 100% transmitted to here. Well, this is a good one. So now, what I want you to do is to hold it flat, like this way. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. To feel the edge, the flatness. Okay, you feel that? More fingers here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 no, no. Yeah, the same thing, because of this here, your back is like this. So the chest must be hollow. Whatever you do, it goes to the dantian. So the chest is hollow, so you can be longer. No, 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 don't change my word. Hollow. How? Hmm? How to be hollow? No, just uh, hollow. Just, it's very important you remember this word. Through gradual training, as you become better, you start to understand that word is precisely what's needed. Right now, you don't know what that means. Anything else will change it. Okay? So hollow. Okay. It's hollow. The chest to mean this. I don't mean in one, on one side you see it. Another side you see it. Another side. So this is frontal, this is side. Front, side, top. You see those. 
At the same time, three dimension means here. You look at my hand, you see a circle. You look at my elbow, you see a circle. You look at my dantian, you see a circle. Yes? Um, usually we do the circles on a 45. Yeah. yeah. What if I'm looking at that 45? Pardon me? What if I was looking along that? Doesn't direction? matter. Yeah. So if you look at me from here, because can you see the circle there? Can you see it now? When I say three-dimensional, you can't escape. It doesn't matter where you are, you will see it. You see, that's why you have to turn. Don't turn too much. You have to open the claw. You have to draw in the elbow. You have to sink the shoulder. Otherwise.